Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a birthday haul. It was my birthday about a week ago. So it's going to be things that I got in Seattle and also some of the gifts I got from my friends. And in particular, there is one thing I want to show you that I got from my friend. And when I opened it, it almost made me cry. I was super surprised. Well, I knew she did that kind of stuff, but I didn't really expect to receive that. But anyways, I'm going to show you some of the clothes I got first. Um, so, you know, the Canadian currency is so weak right now and it's not really worth it to go shopping in the States. But there are still some things, even with the exchange rate, um, is worth buying. Like, it's still cheaper than buying in Canada. So, uh, I'm talking about Hollister and Abercrombie. I got this crop top from Hollister and you know it actually wasn't something that I planned to get when I saw it's just that I wanted to buy a pair of high waist shorts jean shorts they were all $25 at Hollister so I got this and I needed something to pair with this when I tried it on so I just grabbed this clearance top on the rack and it went well with the shorts so I just ended up getting it. I think this was $10 so it's okay. And then I also got this uh, white sweater with sequins on it. It was like, I don't know, like $14, $15 or even less because sometimes um, it's on the things on the clearance rack. They say there's like an extra thirty or forty percent off, so that's really really cheap. So for this sweater, it's longer at the back and a little bit shorter at the front, and it smells like Hollister. And actually, I also got a pair of Nike pants for gym and also like a Puma top for the gym as well and that was like $10 at the outlet. So I didn't get too much clothes. That's all I got. Cause it's really not that cheap. So let's go on to the beauty stuff. Um, so first of all, from Sephora, if it's your birthday, you get a gift from them. You just need to be a beauty insider. And it's obviously free to join. So this year, they have something really, really good. It's better than anything else that they gave us in previous years. So, this is what they gave us. And it has two of the NARS mini lip pencils in there. These are the velvet matte lip pencils. But, um, these two shades are not very versatile. I would say some people will not wear them at all. One of them is kind of like a pinkish nude color. So I'm just going to swatch it for you. And the other one is a dark red color. So this is what it looks like. You know, some people don't wear reds at all, so they would not touch the red. And some people don't like nude colors. They always like some, like, brightening color on the lips, then they wouldn't wear the nude at all. So it's kind of extreme, but I would wear both. And actually, before I got that, I also have this other color. In Taurus, Del Plain, whatever. It's a peachy, light peachy color. And actually, I got this from my friend. Uh, she got a pack of these mini lip pencils uh, from Sephora earlier and she gave me this one. So, next I have a Bite lip crayon. This is also matte. And I got this from my friend. This is my first Bite product, so I was really excited to try it. This shade is in Tatin, or is it Tatin? I don't know. It's like a mauvey pink color. 
and I wore this to work a few times. Comparing to the NARS satin lip pencils, this one here, there's more resistance when you put it on your lips because obviously the NARS, there's a satin word in there so it goes on more smoothly. This one there's resistance but it, um, it doesn't dry out your lips and I like it for work because it doesn't come off my lips even though I'm always drinking water or coffee. So this is what the color looks like. And next I have the Dior Fluid Stick in 219. It's called Whisper Beige. This is my fifth one and uh, that's how much I like them. It's really good. Let me do a swatch for you. It is super super opaque and glossy. I normally really don't like sheer lip glosses. I mean, I don't really like lip glosses in general, but I love the ones that are like liquid lipsticks. Like they're very opaque, but they're like glosses. So that's that. And uh, I like this color because it doesn't wash me out. It's not too light. And then I finally got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. I have their Lighting Powder and Diffused Light, but this is my first blush from them. And I got this in the States, but it's not cheaper than here. If anything, it's actually more expensive. But you know, when you're on vacation, you have all the reason to shop. So this is what it looks like. It's like a coral color and that's almost always what I go for. It's kind of hard to swatch this but you see there's like a really nice sheen to it. And if you want to look at the size. So compared to the Hourglass Lighting Powder, the size is very different. This is the lighting powder, and this is the blush. Even though it's smaller, the blush is cheaper than the lighting powder. Then some other things from my friends. I got this Dior palette. It has very nice packaging as usual. It's black with a gold plating in the middle. This is the Dior Holiday Couture Collection. I think it's from 2013. And it has four shades in there. Uh, they are very versatile shades, like neutrals. So it suits everybody. There's a matte black, and this is a glittery, glittery gold. And this is a taupey, dark taupey brown color. And this is a creamy beige color. And um, the brush that came with it, one side is shaped like a pointy. One side is shaped very pointy and uh, that's what you use to apply the matte black shadow as your liner. And actually I tried it and this is really good for applying, like using a black eyeshadow to line your eyes. It just gives you a more natural look. And you know, sometimes if your double lids are not that big, if you draw your liner too thick, it will look like you're not, like you don't have a double lid. So if you want to emphasize your double eyelids, you should draw your liner um, thinner. So next I have the Benefit Sugar Luscious Lip and Cheek Kit. This is what it looks like. It's very cute. And I'm going to show you what's inside. So it has the Sugar Bomb blush here and a mini size 
high beam for highlighting your face and a bennett tint. It's, it's like a stain. You can put it on your lips or cheeks. And a little tiny brush here and also the sugar brown lip gloss. I always wanted to try the high beam because I feel like it looks like it gives you that really nice sheen to your face but it's not glittery. And next I have a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. This is in the color Rose. And actually I own a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick myself. This is mine and this is what I got recently from my friend. This is what the rose looks like. And this one I have originally is Nectar. So as you can see, there's more pigmentation in here because the stripes are more red. Or more pink actually. And that's funny because I would think that rose would have more pink in there. But no. You see? I really like them because they give you a really nice glow. But I, I can imagine that some people will not like it at all because it might be too um, shimmery or glowy for some people. And these are intended to be blush and some people just like to apply highlighter on the tops of their cheekbones. So, And also these compacts, they may emphasize your pores. So if you have big pores or like um, uneven skin texture, it may emphasize that. So it's better to use like a matte blush if you want to, you don't want to draw attention to your skin problems. Then I got a Sephora gift card from my friend, which is nice because I always shop at Sephora. Next I have a Aritzia gift card from my friend. Um, I've been really wanting to get the Aritzia leather leggings, their faux leather leggings. Uh, but it's $135. I just can't justify the price. Like, why? Why would I pay $135 for a pair of faux leather leggings? I don't know. Anyway. This is... I think this is actually my first Aritzia gift card. I usually get like a Sephora gift card or something like that. But if I decide to really get the leggings, when I can finally persuade myself, then I will use this gift card. Then next I have some stuff from Victoria's Secret for my friends. So this is one of them. It's a very, very cute black and pink makeup case. Black and pink, my favorite color, and it has a bow here, my favorite thing. It has a little pocket here where you can put like smaller things and inside actually there are some little like pockets here as well where you can put tiny bottles or maybe like shorter mini brushes here so this is really great for traveling obviously not for going out because it's way too big oh one more thing, this top I'm wearing right now I also got in Seattle from the guest outlet. So it's just like a white beater with like a metallic pink heart. Next I have a Victoria's Secret perfume set. I never tried this scent before, I haven't actually uh, opened the perfume so I don't exactly know what it smells like. So inside it comes with a little rollerball perfume and a fragrance lotion and body wash. Next 
I have a box of Lush gift set. It was actually wrapped really nice, but I already opened it. And this gift was lovingly packed by Lisa's team. Thanks, Lisa. What's in my gift? Let me show you. So there are five things in here, and actually there is a sixth product in here because my friend got and something else and put it inside as well. And I didn't know until she told me. So this is the extra thing that she put in. And apparently it's like a solid um, shampoo thing. And it smells really good. It smells really, really sweet. This is what it looks like. I've never used solid shampoo before, but at the same time, I can't imagine putting something so sweet in my hair. And I'm really curious as to how moisturizing or drying this is. But I'm sure my hair is going to smell really nice. So what's actually in this box originally? Now, this one is called the Rose Jam Bubbler Rune. So uh, you put this in the bathtub and it creates a lot of bubbles and it smells really nice. I bought one of these before, um, but I haven't taken a bubble bath in a long time. So the second thing is a Rose Argan, Argan body conditioner. And uh, the first ingredient in here is Argan oil. And then second is cocoa butter. So. I would imagine this to be super moisturizing. It's not as fragranced as most of their things are, but it still smells really nice. Or maybe it's just that the solid can, the solid shampoo is way too strong. So this is what it looks like. And I guess you can put this anywhere on your skin. And then I have a bubble bar, it's called Amando Pondo. Normally when I use these, I break them up into half or even like one quarter. Because um, I just uh, break it up so I can use it more. <laughs> um, and then I have the Rose Jam Shower Gel. Obviously, this is like just a normal shower gel. And then there's this little tin in here. It's called the Ultra Bomb. It's for all purposes. You can put this anywhere on your skin where it's dry. Kind of looks like a lip butter. I don't know, this small tin, where would I put it? Well, on my ankles. Maybe. So, the last little bit in here are these little foam things. Oops. So that's all there is in this box. For those of you who... Oh. For those of you who will be receiving this box sometime in your life, I'm sorry. I told you everything that's already in here. So it's not going to be surprising for you. But I mean, they do have other gift sets, but if this is the one that you're getting, then that's what's in there. And then the next thing I got is this Aritzia bag. I don't know where else this is sold. It might be exclusive at Aritzia, I don't know. And I don't really know how to pronounce the brand. Auxiliary? I don't know. But anyways, this is a... Brown leather bag is a very mini bag. So I saw this a couple. Of, I saw this a couple of times at Aritzia before, and I thought it was really cute. Like the shape is really cute, and it has a long strap where you can put it across your shoulders. And obviously, this is so small. I would not carry it like this because it would look like a toy. And I'm just not tiny enough for that. 
Um, but I mean, I like small bags. I don't really like carrying big bags unless I'm going to work. Um, the only downside of this bag is that the opening is very small. Yeah, so you kind of have to like force it open to put your stuff in there. And my wallet is, uh, is not those long ones. I don't even know if you can fit a long wallet in here. But mine is between a uh, small, like a regular, and a long one. So it fits, it fits, but you just have to kind of force it open a little bit. So inside it has this slot in the middle where you can put stuff in here. And uh, I brought this to traveling and actually I put my important stuff in there, like my passports. So that's pretty good for that purpose. And then I also got this from my friend. This is really cute. So, oh yeah, I'm not sure if she made these flowers. Maybe? Um, but it's like, a, these are paper flowers and it's a really cute pink jar. I think she painted this though. It's, I don't know, it's, uh, I don't know if this is like a set that you can get. Um, but before my birthday, she was asking me what were, what was my favorite number and what were my favorite colors. So I was like, um, purple and pink and eight. So there are eight flowers in here. And the bottle is, is pink. The bottle. Not the bottle. The jar. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a really good size. I put it on my vanity table and it matches perfectly because my table is white. Like that one that a lot of people have from Ikea. So this is really pretty. It's a great size. It doesn't take up much space. So I'm going to show you the thing that um, I opened and almost made me cry. It's this thing in here. 2GG and uh, not many people know that my name used to be that and I'm not called GG anymore. So this is from my friend Teresa. Guess what's inside? See? She didn't buy these, she made them. It's my favorite little twin stars. Um, if you were born in uh, North America, you probably wouldn't you probably wouldn't know what they are. It's like an Asian character. Japanese. And uh, a lot of my things are actually little twin stars, like right in front of me. There's this folder I have. It's little twin stars. See? It's so cute. So pink and cute. And even at work, my calculator is little twin stars. My ruler is little twin stars. Like everything. Oh, but I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, she took the time to make these. So, uh, I don't know, I was just thinking, oh my gosh, she took so much time to make this for me and this is like my favorite thing. Can you believe that? And they're so well made. Um, I don't know what's inside. It's, I don't know if it's like actually more yarn or cotton or whatever, but it's just so well made. See? Um, so she does have a shop on Etsy. And her shop is called Sheep Shaved. So she has a lot of products on there. And she also custom make stuff for people. So if you like a certain character. Or you, if you want like a certain thing made out of yarn you can always ask her to make it for you and they're very very amazing you can check out her store in the description box below it's just so amazing and I almost cry when I saw this um, I haven't figured out where to put this 
probably like on my desk or on my vanity table again. I'm putting so many things on my vanity table and it's actually not that big. And I have a lipstick, I ordered a lipstick tower on Alibaba. And uh, it's currently in Hong Kong and someone's going to bring it over to me. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out where to put that as well. So that's all for my birthday haul. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a very long video, but I hope I didn't bore you. Oh, there are more things that I got. <laughs> okay, so I almost missed this. Um, my friend gave me a skirt from Topshop. It's a black lacy skirt. Summer is coming up, so this would be great. I can wear this to work or out. I don't really own skirts like this, but um, yeah, this is like my first one. I normally wear skirts that are um, skin tight. Not skin tight, but like fits my body, not like the ones that flare out. I used to when I was younger, but yeah. And then she gave me these two Taiwanese made lashes, falsies, and I was like, oh, I was wanting to buy falsies. So they're the same. And uh, apparently they are handmade. But let me show you what they look like. There are many pairs in here, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten pairs in a box. So I'm, I guess this will last me a long time. And these are the ones that I usually wear. Um, they look more natural, but uh, I'm not sure how, if these are thick enough, but yeah, I mean, it's really similar to what I usually wear. So I think that's all. I don't think I missed anything. Oh, actually my friend also made me gingerbread cookies, but uh, I kind of finished them already, so I can't really show you. Um, yeah, so that's all. I hope you enjoy the video. Bye!